All right, and since these brushes are not very strong, we spill paint on the table, clean it up quickly, and it's a lot easier. Um, these brushes are not very strong, so I'm going to start out mixing with my little scoop here. Alrighty. So I'm going to now kind of scrape off as much as I can. And again, in kind of more normal circumstances, if you're painting at home, you have a glass palette and you're mixing this with a palette knife to get it as even as possible. But since we have to clean up and put stuff away pretty quickly every day, this is just the easiest way to, to save some paint. All right, there we go. I do, so this is, I would say, is close to my number two. So I'm going to get my whole thing back out there. If I want, I can, can kind of compare it. I think I'm happy. This is my number two. I'm gonna look at my painting. I'm gonna assess. Um, my number twos, I don't have a lot of it. So this is more than plenty. I probably made a little bit too much, but that'll, that'll be okay. Um, that's plenty of paint. That's my number two. I'm gonna put my lid on my cup. I'm gonna initial the lid so I know that it's mine. Sharpie. Cannot understand, but that is a B. <laughs> Alrighty, and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush. I'm gonna get my spoon back and I'm gonna clean my spoon. So sweeping, 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 sweeping the brush. All right, brush is swept. I'm gonna find my spoon again. There's a spoon. Got some paint on it again. Till it kind of comes clean. I might need to go get another paper towel here. More than likely. All right, cleaned, dried my spoon. Got to really make sure that there's no more paint on it. Like there's a little bit of orange in there and I am making an orange. So it's probably not gonna hurt it too badly. As long as you don't have too many um, complementary colors mixing, you'll avoid the browns. And even then, you might kind of enjoy it. Uh, you might want a more earthy color palette. All right, guys. So the cycle I kind of want you to be aware of as you're mixing your paints is you, you do the initial mix, you do your best guess of thinking about what ratio it is for the color, and then you test it. So I have my ratios. I do this, my, my initial mix here, and then I, I tested it, I didn't like it, and I altered it. You might like it, you might need to alter it. Make sure that you make enough, I was it's still not happy. So I went back and I added even more blue to get where I wanted it, and then I tested it before I moved on. Make sure you cap everything, put your name on it. And you, again, you wanna make sure you make enough of your color that you'll have enough paint and don't have to remix and you clean your tools in between each time that you mix your paints. And I'm happy, I've evaluated all my paints, and now I'm ready to work on my painting.